Do you believe you are complacent? I'm reminded often about the pitfalls of complacency. The elders suggest I not fall into a status quo existence by becoming complacent. So do you consider yourself to be complacent? Maybe I need to provide a better understanding of what is meant here as I've grown to understand this word from a different perspective. I consider it differently than I once did. My current understanding is due to the elders. So I'll suggest that this understanding may be different than yours. You see, I often appear to be complacent from the way they look upon life. From their vantage, I'm not doing as much as I might otherwise do. Yet if I told you my schedule, you'd say I'm anything but that. Yet, it's not the physical doings they discuss. It's the way and manner in which I'm being or existing as opposed to what I'm doing. Let me explain. Mental vs spiritual do you dive into completing checklists and to-do lists? Are they the thing to accomplish as you begin your day? These are things they suggest we need to do less of while engaging more of that spiritual component we are meant to connect to. To engage what will enable us to move and enact our original purpose. You see, we've been here for quite a while. A longer time than you might suspect. And to not do the most important thing the one thing we must do in time, well, how will this most purposeful thing ever be? Instead, we do everything under the sun except the one thing that has more meaning than you might now believe. We move to enact more egoi measures that don't truly matter much at the end of the day or at the end of one's life. These lesser agenda items are meaningless in the scheme of things. For you see, the mind will never suggest or propose something of a higher nature. That's not within its program of understanding. Still the mind first, if you've not watched any of our videos, might you check out our Advanced Energetics YouTube channel? Click on the link provided and then search our channel for those things you are in search of. Know too that our terminology may be a bit different than yours. Listen to a few of them and then you will get the hang of how to browse and select what intrigues you. Go there now to discover what's awaiting your connection. We have many still the mind meditations to engage. Simply move through one and then enter into your own meditation. In this way, you can clear your mind and seek to bring in those insights specifically meant for you. In doing so, you'll be creating an open and welcoming space for those divine understandings to enter in. Allow clarity and love to enter in this way. When the mind pops in to move you off and away and back to accomplishing those never-ending checklists, choose to redirect it instead. Complacent the elders discuss that you must never become complacent or satisfied with where things stand in your life. It is the death knell of what more we might accomplish here, in a spiritual way. Complacency suggests you've done enough and now it's time to sit back and enjoy the spoils of your efforts. This is not how you are to exist during this earth experience. The elders remind us that although we will never know all, we should never be content with where things stand. Do not become complacent or feel that you have done enough. Never rest by doing mindless things. These are the things that pacify the mind. Instead, redirect it. Know that the mind is with you always. So you must always remain vigilant to what it suggests. Know that as long as you are here, you are meant to remain vigilant in your quest to discover more.